Hello. This is the new hog rig. The new hoggy bird frame. Um, it's this workout frame is four inches wider than the old one. Now it, it doesn't flex up and down like the other one does, just ever so little to cushion your movements. It does have a little sideways uh, vibration movement, which is actually good. Um, the old one did that too. That's good because the stabilizers in our shoulders and arms and elbows, wrists, everywhere that we use stabilizer muscles, it helps them get properly centered. So I'd like to welcome you. We're going to be doing some work on the new Hoggy Bird rig. I'd like to welcome you to the... Again, Hog Ed would like to welcome you to the Hog Hotel. The Dungeon. We were talking about briefly the frame, the apparatus, uh, the stabilizer muscles and how they respond and how they center up automatically to stress and, and to vibration. That's the way it is in life when, when, we're, when we need to center up around Jesus Christ. He, Jesus Christ enables us to have certain problems that cause us to learn to stabilize on, on Him. The Bible says the best way to purify ourselves is, is to look upon Jesus Christ. It doesn't say that we're supposed to pretend that we're holy, although we might try to do that. To be purified. Sometimes we are sent through storms. Sometimes we're through trial and tribulation. You know, tri tribulation is one of the most um, powerful experiences a, a, a person could have. It's when good and evil, good and bad, get all reversed. And evil wins, it's, or at least it gives the appearance that it wins. In its, in its deceptive form, it appears to win. And it challenges us to whose side are, are we going to stand on. We can read, in certain situations, we can't be purified the same. Sometimes all we can do is look at Jesus Christ. To look upon His face and His life. Oh soul, are you weary? Are you so troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's time for a look at the Savior. Is life more abundant and free? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth, they grow strangely dim in the light. Of his glory, Lord, it's your grace. Amen. Look at Jesus. I could fight the whole world over, Lord, no matter what I do. Lord, I know I'll never find a God like you. Lord, thank you for this time together. Keep our eyes upon Jesus. Look full, it's his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim. In the light of his glory, it's his grace. Even when we're in, when we're walking through the valley of sin, we're not fully able to understand everything because we have to look upon his face, even then. As we walk through the world, even of vanity, 
God shows us how to stabilize on Him. Verse 15. Thank you, Lord. And that hurts, too. To read Scripture as, as literature does not express God's will, does not express God's meaning accurately. Even even in the context of biblical literature Jesus is the word and we must breathe through the word we must be we must breathe in the spirit in order to properly interpret and understand what the bible saying dear friends now that we are children of god and and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself. Now, just as he is pure, we try to be pure. Sometimes illness can help purify us. Training, physical, spiritual, mental, all these things, yet the Bible says all these things that we do, do not control the urges of man, the desire to eat, the desire that is only natural that all people have. We must ultimately look upon his face for purity. And in preparation in doing so, we train in Scripture. As the Lord said, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like the eagle with wings of great strength. second set and which set